by the 1960s, magnetic tape very similar to this was packaged in cassettes commonly known as 8-tracks, but within a few years gave way to smaller packaging with higher sound quality simply known as cassette tapes or audio cassettes. By the 1970s, cassette-style tapes began to sound the death knell of vinyl 45 and 33 and a third records. It is important to note that starting with 8-tracks, both 8-track and cassette players became prevalent in automobiles, the first step towards portable music. Also during this time, a gentleman named Thomas Stockham began recording digitally. That is, the recorded information was turned into a signal of digital binary code which, among other things, greatly increased sound quality and minimized recording errors. In 1983, the compact disc, or CD, was the first widely available digital music delivery method and quickly replaced virtually every other form of recording media. Compact discs remained the standard until about 1994 when individual MP3 files, essentially the electronic music file on a compact disc, actually became the preferred vehicle for music, making it more portable and transferable than ever before. By 2005, there were more than 40 million MP3 players in use, and currently compact disc sales have fallen 7 out of the past 8 years. It is estimated that more than $1 billion has since been spent on online music purchasing, and another half billion dollars on music downloaded through cellular phones. Now, in 2009, the question is, what's next?